to be continuing the spring cleaning series and you guys will get a lot of videos of this. I love spring cleaning. I love fall cleaning. Um, I don't think that's really such a thing, but anyways, I've kind of made it a thing. I just love it. I love going through, opening the windows, cleaning the blinds, cleaning the curtains, just cleaning everything, wiping down the baseboard, just stuff like that, and then just getting in the areas that haven't been t so over here in this corner, I'm wanting to clean Lucos's dog bed, and I think I'm going to use this blend that I seen on Pinterest. It's just some baking soda and then some essential oils, but I have to do some research on the essential oils because some will hurt pets and some are okay for pets. So I'm going to have to do some research on that, but I do want to clean that, clean the fan, um, anything that can be dusted, I'd want to try to dust. Need to clean that window, clean those blinds, um, take the curtains down, and clean them. Sorry, guys, it's so dark. Um, and then over here, this is my husband's side of the bed, and it just needs some help, um, just to say the least. It's just kind of the catch-all, so I'm going to be going through it. And one thing that helps me a lot with going through my husband's stuff while he's not home is I've got my husband's basket here. This is what I call these. I've got two or three of these little husband baskets, and then I just throw stuff in here, and then when he gets off, he goes through them, puts the stuff up, and it's ready to be filled again. So it's not very big, but that also doesn't want overwhelm a man. So I thought that was a great idea. So I think we're ready to start cleaning. I definitely noticed that we have a lot of dog hair in the not so common areas and this is right by his dog bed so even with him being a short haired beagle basset I do get a lot of hair in this area that I just have to clean up occasionally. still having the heater out during springtime but where we live at the weather is so unpredictable that the days could be so nice so warm and then the evenings just drop to be so cold so we do definitely keep our heaters in our houses a little bit longer than usual
just so sweet that Willie still has this picture on his nightstand. He had this picture on his nightstand at his old house where he still lived with his parents back where we were dating. So I thought that was so sweet for him to still have that on his nightstand. <laughs> That the vacuum I am actually using is an Auric. I'm not sure. It's the XL, but other than that, I'm not sure what kind it is exactly. I know it's kind of an older model. I did not buy it brand new. It's went through like three generations and it's still working great. I actually find the bags at like a local thrift store, so I'm still using it. It's working great, but I am also looking to buying a new vacuum not sure what kind but I need something with a crevice stool on it since my little handle battery powered one just died on me so let me know down below what you guys use I'm just so pleased with how well everything turned out in the end it looks so much better feels so much better I'm just so happy that I just finally cracked down, got everything clean, and it's much, much better. I love it whenever I have good ideas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the magnet off the front of my dishwasher that says dirty and clean from the Pioneer Woman because my dishwasher doesn't work at the moment. And I'm going to take this and I am going to put this on the metal piece of my washer which the lid is metal 
and say clean or dirty, or I can also have it down here. And it's clean right now because nothing's in it, or it could be dirty. Great idea.